Oh, it's uh, 29 degrees in sunny Rotherham and we're still keeping his physical activity up. We're coming for a nice shaded walk in the woods. Uh, but that's not what I'm doing this video on. Uh, I was looking at an internet video on my way here and it was about the reasons for obesity and how they got the information was they asked people they asked people why are you obese and the number one reason that came up was low income <laughs> found something interesting um, yeah low income so look, how can I respond to these people that were giving this answer what you found? You can show me when we come back. I'm just doing this. Good boy. Anyway, how do you respond to a group of people that say the reason for their obesity is a low income? So I've had a good thing about how I respond to the people. So obviously there are people on a low income. I don't make a huge amount. I've got a family of seven. Uh, me, wife, five kids. So I thought about it, how can I sensitively respond? And the best thing I come up with is, you're talking a load of rubbish. I think well, the, the actual answer that we got from that was laziness. We can't be bothered to cook properly. We can't be bothered to shop properly. Not low income. Let's go into this, let's have a look at why. In fact, what have we found? Horse poo. Horse poo. Oh. Come on, let's keep going. Run on. I will get this video done. So, how, how can I justify saying this? How can I give that as an answer? I'll tell you what, you answer it for me. What I want you to do is I want you to tell me, or tell yourself, how many times in the last month have you had a takeaway? So by a takeaway, it doesn't necessarily mean been delivered to your door could do Indian Chinese kebabs that sort of thing but it could also mean fast food so McDonald's Burger King KFC uh, let's go one step further how many times have you stopped by and got a meal deal add them up add up the cost let's go one step further and say let's think about how much alcohol you've had in the last month how many cans of beer have you bought could be on offer, four pack. How many times have you had a pint from the pub? How many of you smoke? How long, how much does that cost you? And add them up and then tell me, could that have got you a decent shop? Yeah, Abel, a decent shop. And then a second thing to think about, which is always a good, a good thing to do anyway. The last time you did a big shop, Morrison's or Tesco, or wherever you is you go, have a look through your receipt and ask yourself, how much of that did I need? How much of that was actual food that I needed? How much of it was actual household stuff that I, that I really needed? And how much did you buy because you wanted it? How many of the things on your list was it that was two for one? Bought this pack of biscuits because it was two for one. You wouldn't have bought them if they weren't. Have you saved anything? No. <laughs> Thanks, Abel. Um, Abel, shh, go play. <laughs> um, so next thing, let's have a look at the cost of healthy food. Let's look at snacks for a start. They always come up with people that I work with. Something to ask people who give me this answer is how much does a Mars bar cost? You generally get an answer somewhere between like 60 and 80p. How much does a banana cost? This time I generally get an answer 30p, 40p, 50p. Well, I'll tell you because I, I generally buy a piece of fruit on my way to work. You get a single piece from Tesco, a banana will generally cost you about 13p. An apple. Granny Smith apple, 30p maybe. 
So straight away, we've got an issue there with your theory. Let's think about meals. I said I've got a big family. You might have, you might not have. If we're gonna do some cooking and make it healthy, how much is a bag of potatoes? And how long is that gonna last you? How much is it to buy a pack of chicken breasts? And how long is it gonna last you? You're gonna get a few meals out of these things. So most people looking at the cost and go, that's an expensive meal. If you get a pack that's got eight in it and you're only gonna use three, we've got two and a half meals there. Let's say we're gonna do something like have a, uh, a salad. We're picking things up just to eat then and there. Just to go home and throw together. Bag of salad, generally looking at 50p to a pound. Wanna spice it up a little bit, do something fancy. Get a tin of mixed beans, you know, about another 60p. And then a couple of tins of tuna. 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 It don't cost that much at all, as long as you're making it yourself. But now, let's think about it, if you're still being lazy, which is the reason that these people gave, really. How much does it cost to buy a pre-made pre salad from one of these places? cost you about three quid for one person so now you've got your three people that you're gonna make it for nine quid as opposed to two pound fifty because you put a little bit of effort in let's have a think about your drinks like I said yep wait for me guys just stay there so I lost what I was saying now yeah so the other things that we buy fizzy pop it is, it's cheap, it is cheap. It's cheaper to buy a two litre bottle than it is to buy a single little one. Do you actually need it? No, you don't. People with children, my children are fussy eaters. I get that all the time. My kids won't eat a piece of fruit. My kids won't eat some carrot sticks dipped in hummus. Yep. I'm gonna come down with you in one second. Won't they? How do you know? That's usually my uh, next question. These guys, eat fruit, eat vegetables, anything dipped in hummus, anything dipped in something that we've made ourselves, they eat it. And why? Because that's what's available to them. I'll be right with you with that as well. Give me two minutes. Can you find one? No. No. Do you think it's asleep? back. I thought we found a mouse hole. Really interesting stuff. So, back to where I was. Things that we're buying that we don't really need when we're saying that we can't afford to eat healthy. Um, so, yeah, you've got a freezer, you can bulk buy. Anything that you use and don't eat, you can use, uh, cook and don't eat even, you can put in something else the next day. It's all there available for you. Um, and as far as your kids go, as I was saying, they don't eat it because you don't give it them. And if you do, and if it is available to them, there's also a cupboard full of sweets, so they're not going to. Um, so let's change roles a little bit. Let's look at the people that are just eating unhealthy. If they're not looking at the cost, they're just eating unhealthy. Um, I knew someone or know someone, kind of. Um, one day, we went over to their house and they were complaining they didn't have enough food for shopping. They had my wife take them to KFC and they bought enough KFC for two days. I'm talking four meals worth of KFC. I don't know what it cost, but I'm gonna guess at a minimum of 30 quid. You can get a week's worth of shopping with that. There was two of them, that was it excuses laziness that's what's causing obesity as far as shopping is concerned you can do all these different things uh, what i'll do once i posted this i'll keep adding underneath links to uh, healthy cheap meals there's lots of them there's lots of healthy cheap meals that you can make about a month ago now we're a fire here. This was black. Look how much it's grown back already. 
Amazing. So, set yourself a challenge. This is your challenge. Write yourself a healthy shopping list with the meals that you want to make, the healthy meals that you're going to make. If you don't know how to make them, Google is an amazing tool. You, you don't have to go to cookery lessons or anything. It's all there. There's loads and loads of stuff. Tons of simple stuff. Uh, I mean, the books that I recommend to people I work with are uh, Joe Wicks's Body Coach. He's fantastic. I absolutely love that guy. Most of these people that, you know, internet sensations and everything, there's not a huge amount of them that are rate, to be completely honest, but he's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I can't say enough things, enough nice things about the guy. Never met him, but, you know, it shows my answer's honest. Uh, he's brilliant. I'll put a link to where you can get them books below as well. So you're gonna write yourself a healthy shopping list with the meals that we're gonna make and you're gonna to stick to it, buy nothing else. Cut out the things that you don't need. Buy just your meals, enough for the entire week. And for a few weeks if you want to, like I said, freeze it. One of, the, one of the things I get a lot is, there's so much, there's loads, it gets wasted. You can freeze all this stuff, it doesn't get wasted. You waste it. So, give it a go. Leave me your comments, ask questions, and uh, yeah, stay healthy. We're gonna uh, carry on with this. This walk now, have a great day. I don't know if we can see, but we're back to the point that Abel wanted to show us, and we have in fact found a horsey.